Okay, I just got this US ELP USB camera from Amazon. This is 1080p, the CMOS 800TVL. So I was expecting a Wi-Fi version, the IP camera, but they sent me just the um, USB cable. So it doesn't come in with any instruction at all. They give you uh, four screws, and this is the camera. So let me show you how to mount this one. This one should be mount on the wall, and there are four holes for the screws to mount on the wall. When you mount these on the wall, you screw this back in, and then you can adjust this to get to the correct uh, position of the image. So the cable is 15 feet long. The limitation of this camera is that you have to plug it into a computer to record or to see it on a monitor. So if your computer is far away from where you mount it, you need to have an extension. The difference between this one and the uh, IP or Wi-Fi camera is that the resolution on this one should be a lot clearer than the IP camera but the purpose of this camera I believe is that if you use it to monitor a shop or a garage or inventory um, or storage because you always have to have a computer always on to be able to see it. So after searching on the internet I found a few software that would support this and make it into a security camera. So I'm going to do both with Windows and also Mac since uh, there's a lot of Mac users out there okay so let's try to mount it and start so again this video camera does not have sound microphone or Wi-Fi okay so I'm going to install this one there are four screws make sure the, uh, the camera is inside I'm going to mount one screw just to test. Now we're going to put the ring onto it to hold it in place. So we can just twist it. The thread are pretty thick, so. Now we're going to have to move this to a chest. So now it's done. Windows software, there are two that I can see working very well, which is the AMCAP and also the other one is iSpy64. So they're pretty straightforward, but there's some setting we need to do. Okay, so let's start with the iSpy. When you launched it, we have to add the camera. So the camera was set to 1280. That's the maximum that you can set because it's detected. So we need to change the frame rate to 30 or higher if you like. And also resize to 1280 minimum. The next one we want to do is the M cap. The M cap is for actually is very good. And all we need to do is to set everything to 1280 to make sure. And the um, frame rate should be at 30. It seems like everything they set is right on the dot, so just use it.
it is nice. So this is the MCAP software that's recording. It's very clear compared to the iSpy. So maybe that's the way they set it up. But it's to me it's pretty clear. And this video is from the iSpy. So it's little, it has little artifacts in there. So it's not as clear as MCAT. Okay, so this is 1080p with the lens clean. Let's see what happens. No lights. So clean the lens and see this is a 720p. So the camera is actually really nice at 720. So this one is not really a 1080. Okay, if you use a 1080. The software doesn't come out very well. And if you set it 720, it's quite clear. So it's a very good camera. And for Mac, it's real the software is really good. And it doesn't take a lot of space to record 30 feet per second, which is very nice. So just set it at 720. This I think it is the 720p camera. It's not 1080. The 1080, if you look, the video is really. It's not as clear and defined as the 720. Okay, so that's it.